missile turrets uh, going to be preventing this from happening. Already down to 23, so losing three Mutalisks, four, five Mutalisks now. Wow, and now the point defense drones coming into play, and point defense drones do take care of Mutalisks. So uh, the Glaive Worm obviously does not do anything against uh, point defense drones, and look at all these turrets. Very well played by QXC, uh, and those 25 Mutas got whittled down to eight very fast. And look at all these turrets in the area of his expansions. So all of his expansions now that he is very well uh, saturated on all his um, expansions, he did not use the orbital commands. He's using planetary fortresses and a lot of turrets in order to deter any type of hit and run tactics that the Zerg uh, does excel at. Of course, that is one of the Zerg's big, biggest tactics. You want to do as much hit and run as you can, trying to do more here with Mutas and uh, Trank. FX here, one of the viewers actually says still no hive uh, this late in all chat. So now at this point, QXC knows there's no hive and knows that there's going to be no broodlords coming and no ultras right away. At this point, I probably would if I were him, I would have just went and gone aggressive. I would have taken out as much as possible. At this point, the army is just way too big for uh, QXC compared to Strife. And uh, there really isn't much Strife can do at this point. They're both really, really high on minerals uh, and gas. QXC's got 2,800 minerals and 1,700 gas. Strifeco's got f almost 4,000 minerals and almost 1,200 gas. So right now, it probably needs to do some suiciding units, uh, maybe trying to take out some expansions. I don't know, throw all your units back at them and uh, start producing more. You're supply capped and you've got that many minerals. You pretty much have to start... Uh, either expanding even more and getting more and more map control or you need to start doing hit and run. Mutas here, uh, quite a few again, now whittling down pretty quick from these turrets. Vikings also coming in now with these Thors trying to get into uh, position, but they're just not able to get there fast enough. Of course, Mutas can just fly in and out as much as they please, but uh, a ton of Mutalisks being lost there. He lost at least another 9 or 10. So not good uh, news for Strife here. All of his attacks are fairly futile right now as these missile turrets are just so cheap. I believe they're 125 minerals. Nope, 100 minerals actually, my bad. So really cheap to put down when you have 1,800 minerals. And why not put down, you know, six or seven turrets over every expansion and just deter any type of harassment from the mutilis mutilisks like this. Five Vikings in the air and wow, five Ravens as well. Seeker Missile still is not done, but they do have enough energy for point defense drones. And, oh, Seeker Missiles are being researched now, as well as Neo Steel Frame. Uh, I believe that is the uh, extra plating for the buildings. And, wow, Terran Vehicle Plating 3 is on the way. Oh, and huh, 3 attack is already done, so now he's going towards uh, Ship Weapons level one, so getting his Vikings upgraded. So not stopping with upgrades at all. Uh, well we've got Hive Tech now because level three weapons are coming into play for this from the Spire. And we are getting an Ultralisk cabin now, but I fear it may be just too little too late. Uh, Ultras do cost 300 and 206 units. So he would need to sacrifice a lot of his units in order to get some Ultralisks out. Going back to do more harassment here, 22 uh, Mutas trying to push out. Lots of turrets here though. There's already five or six turrets here. Wow. Where are all these turrets? Oh, they're spread out. Okay. Yeah. Losing about four or five turrets. No, or sorry, just maybe three or four. Not going to be enough. He's got two Thors here in the base as well, protecting. And now it looks like he is starting to push out. And it looks like we may be coming towards the end of the game here. Hydra's getting just uh, absolutely burned alive by these um, Hellions and point defense drones coming down, so anything ranged besides roaches. And I'm not sure if it prevents hydras. Does it prevent hydras? It does. So really there's not much that the terror or the Zerg can do at this point, besides maybe sacrifice a ton of Zerglings in and just try to absolutely overwhelm them with the surround. But even then, still got a few Hellions left and there's just not much he can use to deal with it. Uh, he would definitely need infestors in order to neural parasite some of these Thors are tanks and use some of the Terran's army against them but uh, with all these Ravens it's really hard to uh, to get the infestors in range of course big army of Mutalisks again uh, 26 yeah. and it looks like he's going to be cleaning up here uh, 
one expansion's down, the third one's about to go down, or second one's about to go down, the third one will be toast as soon as he moves up the ramp. All these siege tanks just sieged. There's nothing on the ground that's going to get to them, especially being 3-3. And with Thor's being 3-3, they're now doing 39 damage times 2 at a faster rate. Three Ultras out now. I'm not sure if this is going to be useful or not, but uh, siege tanks are going to siege up, and I expect these to just... Oh, drop. Wow, that was almost instantaneous. So yeah, with uh, 13 siege tanks, there's not much you can do on the ground against them especially with uh, Ultras, Hydras, or Roaches. So yeah, Terran Mech is, I wouldn't say overpowered right now. A lot of people will say overpowered, but it's just very tough to counter. If your opponent is equivalent in skill to you, and he goes Mech and you're Zerg, he's probably going to win. Uh, I feel like the Zerg player needs to have a little better skill in order for the Zerg player to defeat this Terran Mech army. But anyways, uh, that was another game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening uh, to my casts. I'll be bringing you the two versus two games as fast as possible here from uh, the show match or the, uh, the play day we had for the SC2CL real quick. Anyways, see you guys later.